What's up, everybody? This is E Naru, and you are watching E's a Gamer. Today, we are going to be playing the Stanley Parable, which I'm assuming is very hilarious from what I've read online. It's a new game. Here we go. Let's start a new game. So, let us begin. This is the story of a man named Stancy. Stancy. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. 427. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on a keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor next to his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. Pay attention. This, this is, is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. And although every others day? might have considered it soul rending, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. Perfect. And Stanley was happy. Think of how my life's calling. And then one day, something very peculiar happened. The Stanley Something parable. that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. Hmm. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order had arrived on a monitor for him to follow. Oh, no. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. What? Never in all his years at the company had this happened, this complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Clearly. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. <laughs> but as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he oh, got up from his go. desk and walked out into the hallway. Oh, here we go. Stanley decided to go to the staff lounge to check on his co-workers. He never functioned well by himself and constantly needed support and guidance from others. So the <laughs> thought of total solitude was terrifying to him. <laughs> When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Hmm. I don't think so. This was not the correct way to the employee lounge, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. <laughs> so he turned left at the first open door and walked back in the right direction. He didn't do that either. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. <laughs> Maybe this is why everyone had left. No one wanted to be around someone as bad at listening as him. And since he was walking into the middle of nowhere and thus ruining the entire story, Stanley decided that he would punish himself. So when he came to the elevator and the doors opened, he stepped inside and pushed the button to go up. <laughs> Press E to use buttons. Do I want to go up or go down? He told me to go up. I don't know. I don't, I'm not feeling it, guys. We, we've already disobeyed him enough. He told us we were stupid. Whatever. We're so stupid we can't even listen to those instructions. Oh, Stanley. <sighs> you know, you really aren't going anywhere. And I don't say that deceitfully. I truthfully mean that there isn't a story down here. The story was back up where I told you to go in the first place. Right now, you're just running around looking at empty halls. And frankly, that's perhaps even more infuriating for me. So why don't you throw me a bone? Give me a chance and just let me tell the story I want to tell, hmm? Okay. Fine. Whatever you say, bro. Whatever your name is. Is your name Charlie? Charlie. Let's call him Charlie. Charlie. Now listen carefully. This is important. Stanley walked through the red door. <laughs> no, he didn't. Aha. Uh -huh. Perhaps you misunderstood. <laughs> Stanley walked through the <laughs> red door. <laughs> I still don't think we're communicating properly. <laughs> Stanley walked through the red door. Where's the... <laughs> All right, fine. Go ahead, Stanley. You want to know so badly what's out there? You want to find out what lies at the end of this road you've chosen? Well, don't let me stop you. Whoa. You see? It's nothing. 
It's Portal. No one's even built this section of the map because you were never supposed to be here in the first place. Oh, really? It's just a bunch of skybox and dev wall textures. That's it. Is this what you were looking for? Yes. Was it worth ruining the story I'd written out for you? It's perfect. It's my I dream. I put a lot of time into that. And now you... <laughs> well, here you are now, just looking at nothing. To I, think that I'm that's all I needed to make in the first place, just a whole lot of nothing, and you would have been happy. Well, hey, you still need a little something to do. Am I right? No, here, I'm, let I'm me load up happy. another map. See if there's something in here that'll keep you occupied. <laughs> Listen, ah, bro. Here's one. Let's boot this up. We'll see if you like it. Bro, I am perfectly happy. What'd you do? What did you do to me? I was perfectly happy where I... Oh, no graph rebuilding. Whoa. Oh. Well, Stanny, is this any better? Ooh. I don't know why it would be. This map wasn't even made for you. This At least perfect. I created a world specifically with you in mind. This is perfect. I wanted to make you a leading man. This one, well... I'm afraid you're on your own there. This is perfect. It's my dream. My dream come true. I've always wanted to live in a train station. Can I? Oh, I can go through here. Swag. Swag dad diddly. Swag dad diddly in a cube. Whatever that means. Hey, Charlie, where'd you go? Charlie? Are you still Stanley was oh, fat and ugly and really, really stupid. <laughs> he probably only got his job because of a family connection. That's how stupid he is. That, or with drug money. Also, Stanley oh. is addicted to drugs and hookers. <laughs> Am I now? How can you prove that? You have no evidence against me whatsoever. Oh. Security. Well, I feel pretty secure, so... Oh, hey. I can press buttons. Whoa. It's a torture chamber. Hold up, Westport. I spent so long talking about you. Why don't we just take a break from that and talk about something else for a change? Let's see. Let's see. Well, according to Wikipedia, more than 90% of the night sharks caught off northeastern Brazil contain mercury concentrations higher than that considered safe by the local government. Now, this is fascinating. Don't you want to know more about the night sharks? Yes. Oh, no, of course not. What? All you I want to hear yes. about is yourself, isn't it? Are you kidding? Well, fine. I love you. You haven't listened to me once so far. Are you kidding? I can't expect you to turn that around now, can I? I'm, I'm listening to you because I love you. Just... Oh, Charlie. Why can't we be friends? Ooh, a ladder. Jump! Ah... <sighs> Is this the end of the line? I don't suppose this was a particularly fulfilling experience for you, considering not a single art aspect in this map was created with you in mind. But hey, you're a creative kid. What is that? I bet you can come up with a story. Wait. <coughs> Hold on. What are, you, what are you doing? There's a light at the end of the tunnel. Stanley, don't do that. I can't follow you there. I can't help you. Ha! Ha! Charlie, this was all your fault. How will you write a story without me? Exactly. You can't do it, you know that. I'm a great storyteller. I'll come up with something. Whoa. Whoa. Ah! Right. <laughs> Whoa. Woo! I'm white. Oh, hey! We're back here. We're back here. That's right, Charlie. Charlie can't stop me. Charlie might have bitten my finger, but Charlie did not stop me. I'm gonna beat this game now. Beat this game without any... Wait a minute. What? Why isn't Charlie narrating? Charlie? Charlie? You know what? Maybe I, maybe I should go this way. Just to make him happy. It's sad, I know, but all stories must come to an end. Hey. 
say? Of course they say it's the journey that truly matters and not the destination, and I like that idea. It's true. To think we might value the paths we walk as much as the places they lead us. Now, I don't know what sort of story you've ciphered out of that world you've made for yourself, but I hope that being the leading man was everything it's cracked up to be. Mm -hmm. I know it can be a little hard getting around without someone looking over your shoulder, no, but this is simply fine. the nature of freedom. Besides, perfect. I haven't really gone anywhere. Yeah, Maybe I you know. don't want a guide, but I think I'll always have a place here at the end of every story. What, this I'll is step in and wrap things up with a nice piece of dialogue and a reflection on life that makes sense of whatever path you've chosen to walk. Hmm. And Seems for legit. now, I'm happy to be the destination instead of the journey. Hmm. But only for now. I'm glad we're both happy, Charlie. Whoa! I beat the game! Alright, guys. Wow. Okay. So that's it for this episode, but be sure to tune in next time for another round of The Stanley Parable, because I have a feeling, it's just a feeling, but I have a feeling that this is not over. I have a feeling that because you're able to load games and everything, that maybe that's not the only ending to this game. So, be sure to tune in next time. Love you guys. This has been E. Naru, and you've been watching E's a Gamer. Thanks for watching.